Let's look back at another Tuesday video. I'm sorry this is coming up pretty late. I actually did quite a lot of stuff today. We ended up going to Canadian Tire, grabbing a few plants, uh, actually with herbs and stuff like that. We can uh, maybe try growing at home while we're here, uh, while the good weather holds up. Um, we also got a few new things and new, <laughs> new pots and pans, of course. Uh, you know, getting like groceries and a few other things to round up the day. It's a little late, but I'm gonna try doing this nonetheless. If you've noticed uh, my last video and this video, uh, I've actually been cooking uh, throughout. Um, I actually don't have an intro for these series of vlogs. So literally making myself breakfast this morning was the only thing I could really think about because uh, I was hungry and I was like, well, I should probably record and I'm hungry at the same time. Maybe I can do both. So everybody has a story about how they got to where they are uh, during this crazy pandemic crisis that's going on around the world. Uh, for me, uh, that actually started in the middle of February. So around that time, I started getting the idea maybe I should get a few things together and maybe I should start prepping. I've been kind of a closet prepper for various things, including like a surplus of food, uh, usually like the canned or the dry variety, usually rotating that stuff out throughout time. So I have been prepping a little bit of stuff like that, usually for Pandemic wasn't really high on the list for me. It was more like zombie apocalypse, which I know is just kind of like crazy and funny at the same time. But yeah, it was something to keep my mind busy, give me a little bit of peace of mind. Uh, I even practiced uh, unpacking and packing my bug out bag uh, from time to time, like twice a month, just to make sure I was ready. But uh, just in case I was bugging in, I actually had a list of what things I probably would get, what things I would like to have with me, just in case that stuff happened. So as the global crisis unfolded, I decided to grab a few things here and there, like I mentioned before. But my wife wasn't really in on it. Not until um, maybe like the end of February. And they decided maybe it's a good idea we get a bunch of the necessities. Things that we're going to need, things that we're going to use no matter what, and next little while. Usually from week to week, we just usually get only what we need. Stockpiling on just a few things here and there. Anything that we actually would have, or if we can just like skip a couple of days or skip another week, we would do that. But this time we decided to go to Costco, and we usually don't do Costco runs. This time though, uh, we ended up stocking up on a lot of our medical supplies. So we got uh, a lot of our vitamins, we got a lot of uh, 
vitamin B as well, multivitamins. Uh, we ended up getting uh, allergy medications, um, things like Advil, because sometimes I get headaches every now and again because of the bright lights and the sun, but I can just manage that with diet. Um, we ended up getting a few cleaning supplies there as well, um, limiting ourselves to like getting only one pack of Lysol wipes, getting only one pack of toilet paper, because it's kind of all we needed. You know, if, if we think about a one pack of toilet paper that usually lasts about six months, and you were down to our last four rolls, we might as well just buy one more pack, and we only got the one. During this time, I was actually still employed, so whenever I left one job, I would actually go pick up a few things, not quite a lot. I pick up only what could fit into a backpack, because I was just walking everywhere I go. So I just picked that up, dropped that off at home, and then I would just head to my next job. If I had time, if I had a few more things in mind that I wanted to get, I'd go back, just grab a few more things, just enough to fill up another backpack, come home. So I did that, that just a few times a week, just to get a little bit of a head start. Uh, and then the wife started joining in. I uh, want to start getting a little serious at the beginning of March. Uh, it, work started slowing down quite a lot. So thinking to myself, maybe um, things might be coming to a, to a head to the point where I've seen a lot of lockdowns in a lot of other countries at that point. So we started getting a little bit more serious about it. Uh, we ended up getting um, things like um, batteries for anything that we possibly needed so we wouldn't have to go out to go get them. We filled up on prescriptions that we possibly needed for the future so we wouldn't have to go out very often. <coughs> uh, we pretty much ended up getting a bunch of stuff that we needed so we know that we could just probably just go out for anything that we needed just once a week. And those would be like just fresh items that we possibly could keep so many on hand. Things like loaves of bread, milk or eggs and stuff like that. Like the, the basics that people would normally just go out for every week. So by the time it came to the point where we had to self-quarantine, uh, because it was mandated by us and by the time we got laid off because the wife and I actually worked for the same company in two different restaurants uh, We ended up getting laid off on the same day. So because of that uh, we ended up um, Being okay. We ended up doing pretty well. Uh, we were well stocked. There was less panicking Just watching the news every night to see what was going on what the updates were of course like everybody else. For me personally just going out every now and again spending $50 at a time uh, just on just two people and making sure that we got food that we would definitely eat uh, made it so much simpler. It gave people time to just get a few things and uh, for the grocery stores to actually keep their stock up. Instead of like buying everything, we just added to our stockpile slowly and slowly and slowly. So we even had an opportunity to actually support one of our local suppliers who actually supplied uh, our restaurant, Wild Game. They actually had a freezer pack going. So they had a bunch of vacuum sealed meats that they had, they were actually frozen, and we were able to buy a bunch of those for a really great price, so stock up a lot of protein for ourselves into our feet. It was normally things that they would probably sell, but they actually just portioned out the smaller and actually offered it to a bunch of uh, the restaurants and to their employees, so we were able to get like multiple packs of ground beef, um, a few things of chicken breast, an entire roast, beef skewers, uh, and, and the list goes on and on, so there were actually quite a few of those, and actually we still have a few of those still left, which is kind of nice because they were dwindling it. So the pars in the in the freezer are starting to get a little bit low, but it's not something we can't keep ahead on. Uh, we were able to help out a few local suppliers at our farmer's market, who actually I've dealt with in the past at previous restaurants, and we ended up buying from them just to help them out. Because we know they are spending a lot more time there since they're still open, since they're able to sell more of their product. Uh, in fact, we, they were even able to um, use those different places as uh, pickup points so you could actually order what you wanted online and then you could actually go there and pick up whatever you ordered this way they wouldn't have to deliver everything all at once and that's just on the weekly end uh, farmers market that happens on Saturdays and Sundays in my city. A few other places in our city actually decided to change to wrap things up in a different way. Um, obviously you've probably seen a lot of people making masks doing all that kind of stuff. We actually saw one of our uh, <coughs> troubled monk they decided to do hand sanitizer. No, it's not a beer or a water or a fizzy beverage or anything. It's actually hand sanitizer. So for those of us who have bottles and stuff like that, and I know I have a few, um, you can just open this guy up, refill the bottles you have. This way you're not using a lot of plastic and you're also helping out. And it's actually kind of nice. The distilleries, it made a lot of sense. They do have the alcohol on hand, they do have the packaging on hand, and I, I love how it says, do not drink, do not drink, do not drink, and actually lists all the ingredients on the can, so that's always great. Uh, during this time of need, uh, I ended up, uh, or the wife and I ended up helping out really good friends of ours move. So we did that all in a day. Uh, it was kind of nice. We all wore our face masks 
Uh, we all wore gloves. The move was pretty quick and easy uh, because they moved at the beginning of March. So there wasn't a lot of traffic to begin with. It only took us a day, but it was quick, it was easy. Uh, we were more than happy to help out friends. Speaking of friends and colleagues and whatnot, uh, I started making my rounds within the first couple of weeks. Make sure everybody was okay. I was reaching out to say, hey, how are you doing? What's up? Uh, is there anything new? If you need anything, please don't hesitate to call or message me. And I've been keeping in contact with those people as much as I possibly can. Uh, if I haven't reached out to some of my friends quite yet, I'm going to try to. Uh, it's gets that more like to have a little dialogue with them, talk with them a little bit, so we just chat back and forth. Have you seen the new episodes of like Star Wars Clone Wars or, or uh, this or that? Even one of my uh, former colleagues actually had a baby during this time. So congratulations to him and he had a nice, uh, beautiful baby boy. He's healthy and they're doing well. So that's always a great thing here, even through all these crazy troubled times when the world is all in chaos. But hey, you know what? You gotta look at the silver linings here and there and that's all it takes. So that's one thing, if I can just influence a few other people, maybe even one or two people, to reach out to more than just family members, more, like, more to just like friends, people you haven't reached out to, just to let them know that you're in their thought. It's pretty easy these days, we don't have to make the phone calls, you can just do a quick text, you can send something on Messenger, or whatever platform you're using, saying quick hi, hello, how are you? And I was very lucky, I got a lot of really good responses, people are really cheery, really happy for the most part. Um, uh, and actually they haven't had to ask me for anything because they seem to be doing pretty well on their own. But if they ever do, I'm here for them, uh, whatever they need, whenever they need it. So always great to see that kind of thing. Going out is a little bit more tricky. Uh, I tend to bring a really big backpack, like a 35 liter backpack, white friends will bring like a 20 liter backpack. And we have a bunch of little bags inside that we can reuse for produce. We have those little mesh bags. Um, this way we're not using a lot of plastic. And when we do go out, our new normal is to make sure that we're like we're suited up, we've got our hand sanitizer with us, um, and we actually have our face masks. So we ended up buying a bunch of face masks beforehand just to make sure that we have a bunch of disposable ones because we don't know how long this pandemic is going to last for. And I've seen a lot of countries mandating that people wear masks in places where you can social distance, things like grocery stores which is everybody has to be going to a grocery store at some point. Or if you're going anywhere else like that, that's gonna be really crowded, either taking public transit or anything uh, similar to that situation. So we were lucky enough to get those and we also lucky enough to get some of these. So the same people who ended up, uh, that we ended up helping move, also made these face masks for us. Well, and of course, my big superhero buff. Uh, as you can see, they gave us a few just to try on, just to use, which is kind of nice. So uh, whenever I'm going out anywhere, I'm going to be using this, especially if I'm going inside. If I'm out and about and um, it's out in the fresh air and I'm able to social distance properly or even better than that, I just take routes where I don't have to um, be around a lot of people, so that helps out. And I usually use two layers. So as you probably saw, I was using a scarf. It's pretty easy to breathe, uh, especially nowadays with like the weather being really good. It's hard not to want to be outside. Uh, I'm usually just going out in the morning or in the middle of the afternoon when I know that a lot of people are still kind of at work or people are kind of staying home. Uh, for the most part in my city, it's pretty quiet out there. There's not a lot of traffic a lot of days. Supermarkets aren't that busy and when the lineups are going, uh, people are social distancing of course because they have all the spots where you have to be. Um, they have lines where um, certain aisles are only going one way or the other way and it gets to the point where there's places where you can um, sanitize your cart and you can use hand sanitizer yourself. So that's always a big plus. I, I uh, thoroughly like seeing that kind of thing, all those precautions being taken. So I like to thank all those people who are out there still doing their jobs. It's really tough to do. It's not the easiest thing in the world and uh, it's, it makes my life easier at home here knowing that there's somebody out there still keeping the lights on by uh, making sure that we still have groceries, people are still doing uh, all the essentials and especially all those people who are in the hospitals uh, saving lives. Uh, those are nurses, doctors, people who are even maintain the hospital like janitors or cleaners. Uh, every, every, everything counts and uh, everyone's loved one is precious to them so anything to, to comfort those people, to get those people back on their feet, that's always a big plus. So enough of me rambling, I was been talking up a storm. Uh, I'm sorry, this one's coming up pretty late, but do me a favor, subscribe because there's more to come. In fact, I've already started editing Saturday's travel video, so we're still in Budapest, 
Uh, feel free to stick around for that when it comes out. So subscribe, because that always helps with this channel. Um, do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, obviously leave a like, because that helps me out as well. Uh, if you have any comments of tips or tricks or anything at all, what my new normal is like, what's it like here, uh, I want to know what it's like over there, wherever you're from, uh, leave the comments down below. And I have playlists, so in case you guys are bored at home, just like me, vegging out, watching things like another full series of Game of Thrones again, <laughs> or doing a Harry Potter thon, or whatever the hell it may be, uh, there's more content here, or here, or wherever else it may be. So, of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.